to consolidate your credit card or other debts? Just log on. Number two. Yeah. This just in, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. The CNN Center right now is just beginning to work on this story, obviously calling our sources and trying to figure out exactly what happened, but clearly something relatively devastating happening this morning there on the south end of the island of Manhattan. That is, once again, a picture of one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Well, you can see these pictures. It's obviously uh, something devastating has happened. And again, unconfirmed report that a plane has crashed into one of the towers there. We are efforting more information on this subject as it becomes available to you. Right now, we've got Sean Murtaugh. He is a CNN producer on the telephone right now. Sean, what can you tell us about what you know? This is uh, Sean Murtaugh. I just was uh, standing on the uh, uh, vice president of finance. Sean. Vice president of finance for CNN. Sean, we're on the air right now. What, what can you tell us about this situation? Hello? Yes, Sean, you're on the air yes, right yes. now. Uh, can, what can, go ahead. What can you tell us? I, I just witnessed a plane that appeared to be cruising uh, slightly lower than normal altitude over New York City, and it appears to have crashed into, uh, I don't know which tower it is, but it hit directly in the middle of uh, one of the World Trade Center towers. Sean, what kind of plane? Was it a small plane, a, a it jet? Was a, uh, it was a jet. It uh, looked like a two-engine jet, um, maybe a 737. You're talking about a large passenger commercial large jet. large passenger commercial jet. And where were you when you saw this? I am on the 21st floor of Five Penn Plaza. Did it appear that the plane was having any difficulty flying? Yes, it did. It was teetering uh, back and forth, wingtip to wingtip. And it looks like it has crashed into probably 20 stories from the top of the World Trade Center, maybe the 80th to 85th floor. There is smoke billowing out of the uh, World Trade Center. Sean, what happened next? Does it, does it appear to you that the plane is still inside the World Trade Center? From my angle, I'm, I'm viewing south towards the Statue of Liberty and towards the World Trade Center. It looks like it has is embedded in the, in the building. I can't see from my, my vantage point whether it has come out the other side. Sean, what about uh, on the ground? or any debris that has hit down there? Can my you see my anything? vantage point is too far from the World Trade Center to right. make any uh, determination of that. Did you see any smoke, any flames coming out of the engines of that plane? No, I did not. The, the plane just uh, was was uh, coming in low, and the t wingtips tilted back and forth, and then it, it flattened out. It looks like it's uh, hit at a slight angle into the World Trade Center. I can see I can see flames now coming out the side of the building, and smoke continues to billow. Well, generally, is that a traffic area in New York for, for aircraft? It is not a normal uh, uh, flight pattern. I'm a frequent fl uh, traveler between Atlanta and New York for business, and it is not a normal flight pattern to come directly over Manhattan. Usually they come up either over the, the Hudson River heading north and, and pass alongside the island of Manhattan, or if they're taking off from LaGuardia, they usually take off uh, over Shea Stadium and, 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 and take off gain altitude around the island of Manhattan. It's rare that you have a jet crossing directly over um, the island of Manhattan. Just for our viewers who are just tuning in right now, you're looking at a live picture of the World Trade Center Tower where, according to eyewitness Sean Murtaugh, he is a vice president of finance, an eyewitness to what he describes as a twin-engine plane or possibly a 737 passenger jet flying into the World Trade Center. It appears to be still embedded inside the building. Sean, are you in a position right now to hear whether any sirens are going, any ambulances, any sort of response to this yet? Uh, not, not from my vantage point. I'm probably a mile and a half, two miles from the World Trade Center. It, it is a, a remarkable scene as we're seeing right now. Flames still coming out of the windows, black smoke billowing from what appears to be all sides. Uh, obviously, uh, windows shattered and steel jutting out from the structure and right Sean, now. And Sean, once again, we're looking at these pictures and I you're telling us... I see them in my us, office. I have yeah, them on all my TVs. And you're telling us you believe the plane is still remains uh, embedded. I, I can't tell from my vantage point. All right. Sean, thank you so much thank for you your very eyewitness much. account there. Right now, we want to go to our affiliate NYW reporting on this as we speak. With a little girl in his arms. Did you see what happened, sir? 
Did you see what happened? What happened? Well, I was in the past train, and there was a huge explosion sound. Everyone came out. A large section of the building is blown out around, like, the 80th floor. Did, was it hit by something, or was it something it was inside. inside? It, it was, was inside. inside. Because it looked out. Everything was coming out. Everything all was the coming. windows were coming out. All the papers were What is on out. the sidewalk? I didn't see anything. Were there any people hurt, do you know? Um, I just ran, and everyone in the past train just ran. I don't know if anyone was hurt, but I assume they were because the windows were all blown out.